government. Also, I think should the Tories win in the next, ele next election, we're likely to see proposals for banning strikes in public services. That will certainly have an impact on mm. unions like my own, the fire brigade union, but I think their interpretation of essential public services will probably go a lot further than fire ambulance hospitals and will include attempts to ban strikes in public transport, public utilities, and that kind of, that kind of proposal is an absolute disgrace and we have to do all that we can to oppose that. And there will be resistance to those cuts in public services, to those attempts to restrict the rights to strike. I was up in Yorkshire a couple of weeks ago. Our members in South Yorkshire were taking strike action over proposals to sack all our members in that brigade and impose new contracts of employment as a way of imposing a new shift system. And in driving around between the picket lines, I had the local news on to, uh, to see what they were saying about us and the main news bulletin came on. And the first three items on that news bulletin were about strikes. They were about our members in South Yorkshire taking strike action over the plans to sack them all and, re and impose new contracts. Bus workers in South Yorkshire were taking strike action over a pay freeze. We had the, the refuse collectors in Leeds City Council taking strike action over the imposition of pay cuts. And of course we had national strike action taking place in the Royal Mail. And it seemed like turning on that, that news bulletin, like we were almost back to the... 70s, where the major news items that day were strikes taking place in different services in different parts of the country. Back to the 1970s, the good old days as, uh, as I recall them, but I think that that's likely to be the taste of things to come, that we will see massive strike action taking place. <coughs> Unfortunately, that's not entirely good news, although the idea of an increase in class struggle may uh, gladden the hearts of many of us, I think they will all be defensive strikes. They will be attempts to resist pay freezes, they will be attempts to resist redundancies, they will be attempts to resist imposition of worse conditions of employment, and some of those strikes we will be successful, and some of them we will be unsuccessful. But nevertheless, those struggles are going to be taking place, and I think it's important that socialists and other trade unionists do what they can to raise support for them, and that's why I think an organisation like the Labour Representation Committee is so important. And I think that it is going to, a forum like this, linking trade unions, those of us who are still in the Labour Party as individuals or as trade unions, and those of us who are not, and of course the Fire Brigade Union five years ago took the decision to disaffiliate from the Labour Party, and I think it's important to have a forum where those unions who are still in the, affiliated to the party can be there. Unions like my own in the RMT, who are no longer part of the Labour Party, can also be present and we can be in there discussing things with individuals who are still in the party, with individuals who are not in the party, or we can discuss them in a, in a united way and, and come to conclusions and get involved in common work. No doubt about it that the Labour Representation Committee is going to face a massive task over the coming years, and I think that the parallels between when the original Labour Representation Committee was formed in 1900 are greater now than they have been at any time in recent years, because if you look back at that time, when you had a number of socialist societies, a small number of socialist MPs in the Houses of Parliament, and trade unions needing a political voice to speak up on behalf of them, that is exactly the situation that we are facing, and it's why it's so important that we have a reformed Labour Representation Committee. And because for a union like my own that is now outside of the Labour Party, it's particularly important for us that the LRC continues and that the LRT is strengthened, and that's why we're determined to do what we can to ensure it's to give whatever support we can and to take part in some activities. So on behalf of the Fire Brigade Union, I'd like to say that we give full support to the LRC, we give full support to whatever work the LRC is doing and any attempt to increase its strength, and we wish yourself today a good conference. Thank you very much.